Welcome, everyone. Hopefully you can see it. Um, so a little bit different tonight. Now, one thing I do want you to notice is there's an Evernote link in your chat, okay? It basically, that's what we're going to be working off of a lot. So if I, I'm going I'm to mention a lot of stuff from the midday webinar. And as I mention these things, as I reference these links, etc., um, use that Evernote link. So if, so if you just got here, um, again, click that Evernote link, and then you'll you'll know the references that I am the references that I am referencing. So anyway, uh, man, UCAR today. So those of you on pre market prep know, man, talk about just like. I always, I, I, I never, 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 I, well, I, sometimes I slip up. I always avoid using perfect, okay? Because really there is no, you know, and this is something that like a, a lot of newer traders will struggle with because they'll hear from people, you know, focus on A plus setups, focus on the best setups, etc. And that's great advice. That's actually really good advice. But what I think some people get tripped up on is they think that that if if they if they study enough and they and they work hard enough and they 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 grind and they grind and they do all these things that that they will find something that is perfect. Like like something that is a 100% win rate setup. It doesn't exist. Um, and remember, there's so many variables. And the variables are, I mean, I mean, you look at you look at EFTR, okay? Last Friday, EFTR, by the way, write that down. It, it's incredible of me. I am baffled that EFTR is all the way back after that super duper sketchy offering last Friday. I mean. EFTR last Friday, one of the grossest things I have seen in a while. So if you remember EFTR, um, you know, they, they drop a PR, uh, you, you can't, I think it was cancer, right? They drop a PR, run the stock up, an analyst actually gave a upgrade and a ridiculous price target, like, and then a minute later, or two minutes, I think it was two minutes later, they drop an offering. Disgusting, dirty. Again, this is a dirty game, okay? You gotta remember, stock trading is is full of, of sketchy characters, okay? But like that EFTR last Friday, one of the grossest, nastiest, sketchiest things I've seen in, wow, we're talking penny stocks, probably like six months. Okay, I almost said years, but it's probably like six months. But um, anyway, if you, I mean, like Tim Sykes, Sykes um, took his biggest loss in I think. Check this. I think his biggest loss in like twenty years on EFTR. But anyway, it's all the way back. Pretty wild to see that. But the point I'm making is that stuff like that happens, and. That's why I want you to get out of the mindset of finding like a perfect setup. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. Listen, you could be trading a stock and then some politician says something or, or there's a, there's a, you know, a, 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 a war breaks out or, or there's a, you know, a, the fed changes interest rates. So, so there's a lot of variables that you can't control for ultimately that, that, that's the point I'm getting at. What we try and do, you know, and, and not to get too nerdy, okay? Yes, I'm a nerd, so I talk about these things a lot, but like what, what we try and do is control as many variables as we can. You know, if we, can, we, we try and control X, Y, Z, you know, theta, zeta, beta, you know, we try and control as many variables as we can, but we cannot control all, all of them. Like, like we cannot, and whether that's long or that's short, High price, low price, etc. You cannot control every variable. It will never happen. EFTR is a good example of that. So that being said, going back to UCAR, go to that Evernote link and you'll see, like, man, I'm like, we in the morning webinar, as soon as the chat pump hit, remember, chat guy has been, I joked about it, that he was on walkabout. 
he he's been he lost himself in the wilderness for a couple weeks, and um, and, he, and he, he basically went undercover. Comes back today, you know, pumps a sketchy Chinese low trash low float stock. Okay, and what's different? Between what we do and what random chat pump followers do is I'm like, here we go. Here we go. Um, if we get that pull at the open, and let me bring up the uh, whiteboard. Okay. So this whiteboard is from like 9.15 a.m. Okay. And I know it's always difficult to read my handwriting. but I'm just, And, and this, this whiteboard is in your Evernote as well. And I'm just like, man... A, uh, cheap locates too. I, I did the the morning webinar in the steady trade team. Forty, I think I went fifty minutes today. Fifty minutes, not not fifty. Fifty, okay. And if I had to guess, forty four minutes were spent on UCAR. And I'm just like, this is this is this is it. This this is not perfect, but this literally checks every single box. And if it pulls into the open. So remember, as I'm doing that webinar, it's like right here, okay? Because because we want that pull, okay? And there were cheap locates on this thing. Oh, like as soon as I saw that, like a lot of you know, if, if you were on, you know, if you were in the room or if you're on the webinar, once I saw three cent locates, I'm like, oh, oh, I started getting giddy. And, you know, and, and um, I'm actually, I'll probably post a link later like I'm like this is like those cheap locates on UCAR, UCAR, cheap locates, short locates, okay, like three cents a share. I saw. I'm like this. This is literally Pennywise, Pennywise the clown down in the gutter, and he's like, I, I can never remember the kid's name, Johnny, whatever. He's like, Hey, Johnny, I got some cheap locates over here. Hey, Johnny, come on down in the gutter with me. It was a much better impersonation this morning. I'll post the link. But it was like after I saw that. Because if there would have been expensive locates, I probably would have been like, man, I don't know. Once I saw three cents a share on the locates, I'm like, oh, here we freaking go, man. Here. Here we go. So anyway, as always, this drawing, I know it's my chicken scratch. But what this drawing denotes is a dip and run. Okay? And again, this was drawn... At I, probably 9, 10 a.m. or so. Uh, and I'm like, well, I could probably look at the date timestamp. But I'm like, if this thing pulls at the open. Remember the rules. Nine out of ten chat pumps fail at the open. And what does that mean? You know, nine When they fail at the open, that is like rotting, stinking, roadkill flesh to the disgusting, life-hating, Mom's basement dwelling short sellers. They can't resist. They can't resist. Okay. It's like a rotting dead possum at the side of the road covered in flies. They just are drawn to it like a magnet. And then especially you add in the cheap locates. And now if it breaks the high of the day, the gold, notice I drew it in gold, then it's off to the races. And that was $5.50. So the standard dip and rip, the number one Morning pattern is exactly UCAR. I mean, I mean, if you didn't trade UCAR, there is so much to learn from this. Again, let me let me go back to the note. Uh, right here, UCAR breakdown. Okay, as discussed live on preempt, perfect buy and sell pre buy and pre sell and pre. There's only one plan on this. Notice all of the capitals. Okay, I I, I, I do not use all caps lightly. There's one plan on this, a dip and rip. That's it for the trade plan before noon. One plan, a dip and rip. 9.02 a.m., there's the timestamp. 99% of chat phones fail at the open. We need that pull to attract shorts to initiate the trade plan, okay? The dip. What, what drives me nuts is that I, it's always kind of crazy. Like I've done like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. I have an entire ebook. I probably published like... 50 uh, uh, blog posts, like all focused on the dip and rip. And then people still screw it up. They're like, they, they... anyway, the point is 
that all of these chat pumps fail at the open, which is the short bait. And then if the stock collapses, which is the red, that is what we call the Ivan Drago. Okay, all of you should know I'm a huge fan of Rocky, uh, this Rocky series, particularly Rocky Three, my favorite. But a close, I mean, it's like, you know, Rocky Four is up there as well. And when, and, and the point is, if it dies, it dies. Okay, we don't care about Ucar. We don't care. It's just a piece of trash, four letters that allows us to trade a pattern to make money. Okay, so if it dies, it dies. Notice the red circle and the drop. So if it dips and never rips, let it rot in hell, die, you car. I don't care about you. But if it rips, the trade plan is initiated, okay? And that goes back to right here, okay? Now, notes from 8.30 a.m. Chat guy's back from his wandering in the wilderness, a.k.a. walkabout. I think he may have been out, you know, walking across the entire uh, Australian continent. He's back though. It's a low float, it's a chat pump, destroyed IPO. If you look at the long-term chart, just got absolutely wrecked after they went public. Uh, but these bounce IPOs have been a hot sector. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a better example of a first green day chart. Like, I don't know if UCAR had a, a green day for nine months. Like, like you talk about, I, this might be the, I always want to be careful. This is a top five first green day chart I have seen in years, like literally years, probably going back to 2020. Big move in pre, 8 a.m. press release. It's all there for a dip and rip. Buy signal of 550, stop at five, goal of seven plus. Then I mapped it out on the whiteboard and again, played out perfectly. So if you're wondering what creates an A plus morning pattern it is UCAR. And if you traded UCAR, congrats. If you didn't study that whiteboard, study the notes, learn it, my friends, learn it. Because now what's great about this, chat pumps have been absolutely dead, dead for weeks as he's doing with, see the problem, see the difference was he wasn't on YouTube. Now he's back on YouTube. So he gets more sheep. But anyway, he's back tomorrow. Everyone's going to be looking for the next UCAR. And you know what? There's a very good chance the next UCAR is, a lot of you, you know, it's coffee shop time, okay? You've heard me say this. The, there's a very good chance that tomorrow's UCAR is UCAR. Um, all right, back to that Evernote. Um, AI, absolutely beautiful. Swing trade going back to last Monday night. Went like $10 a share past the goal. Um, please watch that video that soapbox link for context, um, man, hell of a defense. What's, what's, you know, I'll, I'll save it, just watch the video, but like it, it blows me away that people are like, oh my God, AI, get it. I'm, I'm on Twitter last night, which I'm an idiot. I don't know why I go there. It gives me a freaking headache. But last night, you know, AI drops after earnings and people were like, AI destroyed. And I'm looking at the chart and I'm like, it's at 52 week highs. How, how disconnected from reality can you possibly be to sit there and be like, oh, this hot sector stock is getting destroyed when it's still at 52 week highs and still up like 300% on the year. It's, it, you know, this is where I, you know, it, when, it, when I do this, it's, it's always the, uh, it's the hitchhiker scene in something about Mary, something about Mary. Remember when Ben Stiller picks up the hitchhiker and he's like talking about, you know, seven minute abs. And, and then, uh, you know, and then Ben Stiller's like, well, what about six minute abs? And then he just starts twitching. No. And it's like when, when people are talking about a hot sector stock up 300% on the year getting destroyed while it's still at 52 week highs, I'm like, <clears throat> so anyway, Watch the video. If AI breaks 40, we're talking all time highs. PLTR is this week's number one swing trade. Hit that link. You'll see the, uh, the, the worksheet as well as the research behind that. Um, and then what the nice thing is also above that is a link to a like probably one of the worst 
hit pieces I have seen in quite some time. A lot of first tonight. Anyway, like, read that Palantir hit piece. I'm like, normally these hit pieces are like 100 pages long, and they have like 50 graphs. I mean, this dude wrote this thing. It's like, it's like one page, and all it is is like, PLTR sucks. It's like, quite, again, a lot of first tonight. I think that hit piece on PLTR might be the laziest hit piece I have seen in years. Like, normally these guys just go on and on and on. Like, I said 100 pages. But a lot of times, I mean, a lot of times they're like 20 pages long with all these graphs and all this crap. And it's like, oh. So anyway, morons are going to short on that. So love the PLTR swing trade still. And then I think that's kind of a recap of today. So also, um, CVNA, great oracle uh entry on that on a real stock and then reun um man so many people now listen i know reun spiked at the open this morning but like guys you gotta avoid like these, these buyouts man on pre-market prep i'm like it's a buyout like what are you gonna do you gonna you gonna trade this thing for five cents and sure reun spiked but then it immediately failed and closed at the low of the day i mean Read the news, know the catalyst, okay? And I was just like, people blowing up about RUN. I'm like, what are you looking at, you know? So, all right.